New Free Kit 124! Admiral Ilsa Goff is already in the game! New leaks of the Halloween event! Miratinth Havoc won't be added to the market! Now you can purchase Marta Dinara for gold! Watch this video until the end because I will show you more secret leaks of the game! So, like this video right now and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss on any leak or new update of Modern Warships! Ok guys, let's start with uh, this leak because the Frigate 124 was spotted in the game. Yes guys, this leak was provided by the Japanese community of Modern Warships. So thanks to my Japanese friends Aesok and uh, Vespa so, it seems like those players encountered this warship in an online battle. Of course that this will be a tier 3 warship. Remember that we already have the Frigate 123, the Frigate 126 and the Frigate 127. So now we will have the Frigate 124. Okay guys, so those are a lot of German warships. Okay, so I'm happy to get uh, more warships from different nationalities. So this is something uh, good for the game. So, as you can see, this is the equipment of this warship, okay? Remember that maybe this is not the original equipment because sometimes the devs change the original equipment of those warships, okay? So as you can see, it has equipped the RVS-16 missile, okay? So it has two slots for missile, okay? So it has the conic cannon and this is really important, guys. This warship has equipped the Bofors Grenade Launcher, okay, so I actually don't know if this is a fixed grenade launcher or maybe if it is a grenade launcher that you can equip in other warships too. Also you have 4 torpedoes guys, uh, this is crazy. Okay, so we have the Comanche helicopter, the C-Ram air defense, so this is the MLG-27. It seems like an auto cannon in my opinion. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And another fixed air defense. Okay guys, so the price of this warship is not confirmed yet. Okay, so we don't know if this will be a dollar warship or it may be a bundle warship or maybe a warship that could be purchased with gold. So remember that these are just my predictions, nothing is confirmed, but what is true is that we will have this warship in the game. Please comment below your opinion about this warship and would you like to get this warship in your account? Okay guys, we have another big leak, okay, so this time I don't have a watermark, I don't know the source of this screenshot and I cannot give credit to anyone, but this is a real screenshot of the new Admiral Istikov warship, okay, so that's what it seems, so remember that I already told you that this is going to be a bundle battleship, so you will have to purchase this with real money. Okay guys, so at first sight we can see that we will have a new missile, the P-1000 Vulcan missile, okay, so we will have four slots for missiles, okay, so this will be crazy. Okay, so there you can see the P700 granite missile. Okay, so look at those cannons. Okay, guys, so this will be really, really powerful. 280 millimeters. This is uh, deadly. Okay, so it seems like it has two slots for torpedoes. And we can see the S400 Degarpoon Auto Cannon and the Palash Air Defense. So it seems like common equipment, so I don't know if devs changed something. Also, we have the Black Ghost Helicopter. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that this is the original helicopter of this warship. Okay, so what do you guys think about the equipment of this battleship? Okay, so look at the durability. It has 410,000 points of durability. Okay, so it seems like it is fully upgraded, I guess. Would you pay real money to get this in your account? It seems pretty interesting, in my opinion. And we should try this battleship. Okay, guys, so it seems like we have uh, more leaks of the Halloween event. So, this is an American camouflage. 
Yes, a new camouflage for the Halloween event, that's what I guess. You can see a wolf in this camouflage and it seems like it will be similar to the new Battle Pass camo. Remember that I already told you that new camouflages were going to be added with this new event. Also, look at these guys. Okay, so it seems like we will have a new map for the Halloween event. Okay, so I don't know if this is a new map or if it is just a decoration for all the maps of the game. We can see some pumpkins and candles. So, it seems pretty scary. Okay, guys, finally the Marta Dinara worship was added to the game. And I'm talking about the game shop because now you can purchase this Indonesian worship for 5,000 gold bars. Okay, so this is pretty good for all those players that haven't purchased this worship for real money because a lot of players that already paid money for this worship are really mad because they didn't receive any compensation for the purchase so it seems like the devs realized that it was a mistake using this worship as a bundle because almost no one will pay real money for a tier 2 worship and in my opinion 5000 gold bars is fair but i still thinking that the players that purchased it should receive a compensation Compensation. Please comment below your opinion. Guys, remember that I told you that the Havoc helicopter and the Mirage could be added to the market in the future. Okay, so it seems like I was wrong because the Dev and Dre confirmed that those items won't be added in the market since those were rewards of an event. So, what do you guys think about uh, this decision? In my opinion, I would like to see those items in the game because some players uh, didn't have enough time to complete uh, this and uh, they don't have the Havoc Helicopter or the Mirage Bomber. So, I don't care if it will be sold in a cheap price but it would be fair for some players to get uh, the opportunity to get uh, these items in their accounts. What do you guys think? Okay guys, so it seems like the offline line mode of the game is now more complex yes because now bots are equipped with the VIP and the premium items you can spot bots with premium aircraft carriers even premium bombers like a B-52 also you can see lasers air defenses which is actually crazy even gold ships like the Marta Dinara warship okay so in my opinion this is cool for the offline mode but now it will be more difficult to grind remember that the easier way to grind in this game is playing offline battles but it seems like this will change in the future okay guys stay tuned with my future videos because i will make a big giveaway this time i will give away five isanami's submarines and the five premium accounts okay so please don't comment your id in this video because we will make it in another video so thanks for your support and appreciate you all guys